Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video guys, we're going to be going and checking out a restaurant doing a Monday's food review and Skills, what's it called? Uh, Sandy's Kitchen. Sandy's Kitchen. So, Skills put me onto the joint here. He's been there, says the food's good. It's delicious. Brooklyn, you Your excited? Mashed potatoes are amazing. Okay, so it's, she's... It's a home cooking type place, so I figured that you'd really enjoy it. And I don't it. even like mashed potatoes. You don't even like mashed potatoes? So yeah, we're talking about country cooking, guys, which is right up my alley. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so it's uh, really quaint in here. It's kind of quiet because they're only open for another hour. I think they stay open here until 8. Um, so there's just a few more hours to go. Very few people here. Quite a bit of seating as you can, you'll can. you be able to see in the video. I'll, I'll definitely show that. Um, the people seem really friendly here. Uh, so we ordered some food. Everybody got something different. So. Uh, it'll give you guys a wide variety of food uh, that they serve here. A very simple menu, very small um, burgers and uh, country fixings to the sides and things like that. So it's not overwhelming to order. So I, and it uh, looks like the majority of food on the menu is actually going to be breakfast. So Skills got some breakfast and uh, we'll, we'll check out the breakfast. And I got lunch and Brooklyn got burgers. So there's a little bit of everything. And uh, as soon as the food gets here, we'll start taking a look at it. All right, guys, so here's the loaded potato tots with cheese and bacon on them. And pretty reasonable for those two. I think Skill said they're like four something. So that is a huge best. He was definitely excited about those. So they have the french fries as well, but he wanted to try the potato chop. The what? The ranch is really good. So, all right, so let's dive in. All right, guys, so... <clears throat> There's a potato tot there. Let's see if we can get that camera to focus on it. There we go. The lighting's a little, a little rough in here because it's kind of a low lighting. So we'll give that a try. Mm. And it is a really good tater tot. Very meaty. It's not overcooked to where they get dried out on the inside, so it's a real nice juicy. Not over greasy too. So we're gonna try it with the ranch. Nice with the ranch on there. Skill said the ranch is really, really good here. Mm. That that's a good ranch. Real zesty. It's definitely not Hidden Valley though. <coughs> it's really good, really good. And the bacon on these guys, I didn't get any on the fork, but I gotta find a piece there. That's real bacon, guys. Like they fried it up, it's crispy and crunchy. Not usually like that fake bacon that they put on salads that they usually put on these kind of things. It's real crunchy bacon, it's really good. I would suggest those as an appetizer. All right, so one thing I noticed here is we were just talking about the clientele here. Seems like it's an older clientele, so usually when you got an older clientele, one, the food's gonna be good, and two, the prices are usually affordable because a lot of uh, older people are on a fixed income. Um, but it's very, very quiet here. As you can see, there's, I think there's one other table in here. Um, so if you're looking for like an intimate environment to just come and kind of sit and talk where, you can talk in a nice hush voice. You don't have to yell at each other. This is probably a nice place to do so. Uh, the ambiance is nice. Got 
the little lights as you can see behind me and there's more seating behind me and then a bar up front here so but you guys will see all that in uh, some of the video here so still waiting for the food but as skills said you know it takes a little bit of uh, time it looks like there's one cook back there so you know your food's gonna be especially fresh because they're they're making it as you order it so excited to see what they got Okay, so here's Skills' breakfast. He's got a full order of biscuits and gravy coming. He's still got stuff. And Jess's food over there. She's got sausage, bacon, eggs. Like, and that whole meal right there is only like eight bucks. And then <coughs> Brooklyn with her mashed potatoes and hamburger. Hey guys, so here's mine. And I wanted to try a little bit extra. So there's the mashed potatoes. We got their fried potatoes because it's a country place. You got to try fried potatoes. And this is pork chops, two piece. It's a one piece meal. You add an extra piece for like three bucks. <coughs> and then you got their biscuits here. And then we're going to have some uh, country gravy with that. So we'll dive in here in a second. All right. So the first thing we're going to try here since Brooklyn was raving about their mashed potatoes. It smells really good. You can see the brown gravy on there. Okay. You're right. Those are good. Those are really good. That gravy was very, very, very tasteful. Try the white gravy. Mmm. Good. And those are not instant. Absolutely not. You can taste the lumps in there from the potatoes. Yeah. I didn't think so. That gravy is um very, very buttery. So they, they go to town on the butter, which is really good. No seasoning. You, know, you don't need no salt, no pepper. Like Those are good to go. Very good. Try them potatoes. I got some over here. Potatoes. So we're going to try the... About the same. I like the consistency of these potatoes better. All right, there's a the fried potato. See that nice crisp on there. Mm. Oh, those are good too. Now those do need a little bit of salt. For me. Oh, we're gonna try those. With that white gravy. Ooh. Hold hold up. <laughs> Let, let's just let's just talk about this gravy for a minute. That just put me on mute, y'all. Oh my god. That gravy. Yo, that's homemade gravy. A lot of pepper in it, salt, taste that salt, and the, the sausage that they're using in that too. And she's right, you can taste a little bit of bacon in there. A little bacon fat. That's all I can say. <laughs> like, I'm gonna definitely enjoy that. All right, here's your biscuits and gravy. All right, and then we're gonna dive into these pork chops. Give me just a minute though. I need, I need to get my wits back after that gravy. All right, guys, so. Got the pork chop. Had to let it cool down just a little bit. And you see that breading on there? This lights is playing havoc with my cameras focusing. It smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Mmm-mmm. -mm. That is, that is a really, really good pork chop. How big that thing is. Again, don't need no seasoning. Season perfect, cooked perfect. Um, <clears throat> get us another piece here. Now we're gonna try. <laughs> try it with the gravy. Right. 
objective at the dodge, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. No. Yeah. Yeah, you can put that on anything. Like, that is so good. Let me show you the biscuits, too. So we're actually going to do some biscuits and gravy on that, too. Nice and soft. They look a little crunchy, but they're really not. They're super soft. So, and then the mashed potatoes, Brooklyn was right. These are a 10. <laughs> I only do fives. Like, between, you know, five and, and zero. And But these, I got to put these on the 10 scale because those are amazing. And, of course, their companion will be the gravy, which is going to be number one. That's, that's a 10 all day. So... I'm gonna start diving into the food. Brooklyn's already ate all our food pretty much. Skills, he's he's going over here. Skills, what do you think? How's the breakfast? Awesome, guys. The scramble's good. Mm -hmm. Look at that sausage. Man, very good. Justin, you hold yours up. Show them the whole piece. Look at that. It's the size of a hamburger. That thing is the size of a hamburger. So, like, if you usually get three or four pieces of sausage, I think you might only need one in here. So. So I'm gonna dive in. All right, guys. So it's the meal that we're talking about right now. It's kind of like Skills just said. It's like coming in from working out in the field, which you know I know nothing about because I'm a city boy. But you can imagine coming on in and your mom or your grandma making a meal like this. Like everything is oh, tastes like it just came out of the kitchen. Like nothing tastes processed. Uh, this is that sausage that I was showing you that skills had and they, they have to pat these out by hand themselves because they're too big because usually you guys know the sausages are about that big around so mm. that is a really good sausage and I got a baby mouth so this is not spicy it's got just enough of that spice in there to make my tongue tingle just a hair very very good well I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this Skills is doing work over here. I think the girls are about to tap out. But it's a lot of food, so it's going to take some concentration. Alright guys, so we're done. We're all barely breathing. So, little information. The place has been here for three years. And I told Skills when we first went in, it looked like it used to be a bar. And that's what it was. What was it called? Uh, some kind of saloon. Some kind of saloon. They had the swinging doors and everything. And... They said what happened in the parking lot stayed in the parking lot out here, which I can believe that because we're in Kentucky. So uh, I would say, guys, five all day on everything. I enjoyed everything here. And it's definitely a little bit of a wait because there's like not a lot of cooks. There's only one cook. So if you're in a hurry, it's going to take you a little longer. But if you're out for dinner and you're not in a hurry, it's definitely a place to give it a try. All right, guys, so that's where we're going to end it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new around here, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, guys, be kind to each other, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, baby, you, you got what I